The next thing I'm making is cacio e pepe cheese puffs. Cacio e pepe means cheese and pepper. And it starts with a pata dough. I'm gonna show you how to make it, it's really easy. One cup of milk and heat it up with a quarter of a pound of butter. And just bring that to a simmer. This is actually the same dough that makes eclairs, makes profiteroles, and all kinds of cheese puffs. So just heat this until the butter melts and then bring it to a simmer. You don't want the milk to boil. It's simmering now. You can just see the bubbles around the edge. So I need salt and pepper, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of pepper, and now one cup of flour. Okay, level it off. Okay, and then I'm just gonna dump it in. Stir it really vigorously for two minutes on low heat, and you'll see it all come together. Okay, that's about two minutes. When you see a light coating of flour on the bottom of the pan, you know the dough is ready. Okay, now off the heat, and now I'm gonna dump it into a food processor. Just pour the whole thing in. Watch how cool this is. I'm gonna add four eggs and lots of cheese. Half a cup of pecorino and half a cup of Parmesan. They have slightly different flavors and I like them together. Put the lid on and just process it just until it all comes together. It's gonna be really thick. And that's the dough. I mean, that's pretty easy. So now I just have to fill a pastry bag. I've got a really big one, it's 18 inches. And I've put a plain round tip in it. The tip is about five eighths inches across. Okay. Just squeeze the dough down to the bottom. Okay, I'm gonna show you how I do it. Just put your pastry bag down like this and have them come out, just like that. You can do about 20 on each sheet pan. So now, I don't want pointy little cheese puffs, I want rounded ones, so I'm just gonna take a wet finger and just press down the top of each one. Okay, now I'm gonna brush them with a little bit of egg wash. Okay, a few more things. I'm gonna put a sprinkling of pecorino on the top of each one. Just make sure it has great cheese flavor. And then, because you want them to be really spicy, sprinkle them with salt and pepper. Okay, ready to go into the oven. 425 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes until they're puffed and golden brown on the outside and still soft inside. You're not gonna believe what they look like when they come out. How fabulous do those look? They smell so cheesy and peppery. Okay, now I'm just gonna put them on a platter. A little fleur de sel to finish. Everything tastes better with more salt. And see, cacio pepe cheese puffs, they're not so daunting after all. Now I just need a good glass of Italian wine to go with it.